Hello, and welcome back to the European Adventure. Now the episode you are about to see has been misnumbered. It should be episode 16, and in fact I've called it episode 15, because I got a bit confused. So apologies, and now on with the show. Thanks a lot. Guys and welcome back to episode 15 of the European Adventure. Now today is a Champions League game and we are playing Real Madrid at home in the Amsterdam Arena. Some might call it the ultimate challenge. But with Bayern Munich in your group it's quite a difficult, pro uh, difficult proposition. Uh, so let me show you the competition as it stands at the moment. Obviously we are in third place with three points so a win tonight would do us the world of good at home to Real Madrid um, to take us into that second spot obviously we've drawn all three games so far um, you saw a quick glimpse of the team that show you the team all together and the team is like this so we've got uh, Kellison in goal uh, Wies, Veltman, Dejan Lovren, Dix, Besic Dembele, El Grassi, Klassen, Lingard, Milek. Substitutes are Johnson, Jeffrey, Sinkraven, Cersei, Boney, Gidjard, and Odegaard. And let's hope that we can get something out of Real Madrid. Because we do need it. <laughs> we desperately need to win this. I mean, a draw wouldn't be a bad result, but you know, it's getting to crunch time. We've only got two games left after this in the group stage. And, you know, I don't want to play in the Europa League. I didn't see if Gareth Bale was playing. Is Gareth Bale playing? But playing exactly the same team that played Camborne last time out in the league we won 3 nil. so is Gareth Bale on the bench for Real Madrid <laughs> I didn't even look I didn't even look what a mum what a wally uh no he's not small mercies let's get rid of that get rid of that and concentrate on the game at hand so uh, six gone nil nil nothing has happened we haven't missed a thing so that's good um, I like the change in the graphic I've made um, I'll put an upload of the or I'll put a, um, a link to the in the description of my um, new skin that I'm using that I downloaded from FM Scout I'll put them in there as well because um, you can make it do all funky things with competitions I think I did it in the um, in the Becker Cup game actually where I uh, shut him down and he scored 1-0 to Real Madrid Danny, Danny Leo his first ever goal great well done that man Kellison will be disappointed. Yeah. Me too. Me too, mate. Me too. So we've got to try and get something from the game now. We've got to pick up, pick ourselves up and play our game. That's all we can do. We've got to make sure that we try and get something from this. Because if Real Madrid win... 
it's not looking good. Put it that way. Our Champions League campaign is on life support. And I give us 20% chance of getting through. Because that means we'd need to beat Bayern and Rosenberg. But in fairness, Real Madrid have still got Bayern to play. So, hmm. But we're a point behind them. And Bayern Munich are in front, ladies and gentlemen. Thomas Muller. Oh. Royce with the free kick. Oh, it's too easy. Two. And another first timer scoring for Real Madrid. And we're sinking without a trace. Much like we did in the first game in the Bernabeu. We were 2 0 down. So that gives me some glimmer of hope. Now the reason why I called it the ultimate challenge, because as I said, it is the ultimate challenge, other than playing Bayern Munich, which is ultimate challenge too. Uh, though those who are of a certain age will remember um, um, a wrestling event that was the ultimate challenge, Hulk Hogan versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 6, which was by far my favourite. Well, no, not by far my favourite. I have quite a few WrestleManias that are, you know. And yes, I know wrestling's fake. Thank you very much. I went when I was a child and I really enjoyed it. So sue me. And then as all my godchildren are into it now as well, so. That's, that's really nice that we continue that on. Oh, right, half time. We've got some work to do here, Brian. Um, come on, lads. That's it. Might make a couple of changes as well. Cersei is going to come on at half time. El Grassi's not had a brilliant game, but then he is kind of stuck out there on the right hand side. I've eased him back in as much as I can without making it look like, oh, poor baby, poor baby. So he's back, he's going to start, he's going to come on at half time and start the second half and hopefully we can get ourselves an early goal, get ourselves back in the game. Cue the start of the second half. Boom. There you go. And we're just waiting for everybody to sort themselves out. And we are off and underway. And it's a free kick to Real Madrid. 20 seconds in. Deshaun Lovren. Good man. Good man. I like, I like him. I like him. He's, he's somebody, he, he, you know, everyone knows what Dejan Lovren can do. The boys. <laughs> the, man, the man's mental case. Nope. Hang on. Real Madrid are breaking out. Cristiano Ronaldo hit him. Benzema, Marco Royce. They've got such a good forward line. It's crazy. Lovren heads it away. Dembele heads it further out. And it's picked up by Jesse Lingard. And Lingard looks for Milik over the top now. Down this left-hand side. He needs some support in the middle. It's arriving. And a better ball in. Cersei was coming in far post. Navas with an easy catch at the near post in the finish. And he lumps it downfield. And it's picked up by Ronaldo. It's too easy for Real Madrid. Besic has been booked. He is about to be sent off. Just to make life that little bit more easy for us. And he's, yeah, he's gone. It's the problem with Besic, he's all action, but he didn't have to pick up some cards. And I probably should have spotted it in Venice. Right, okay. So, Danny Klassen's... Now, Danny Klassen can play centre midfield in Venice. So he's going to drop in there. He's going to drop in there. Moose is going to go over one. Damn, clicking button. Go on. There we go. Right, um, it leaves us a bit open, but we ain't got much bloody choice, have we? 
we haven't got much bloody choice, lad. We've got to, we've got to flipping well go for it. That's a terrible accent. So, do we play on the counter? I think we're going to have to, aren't we? And just hope. So, it's probably going to be a defeat for us here. I can't see us winning from here. I'll be brutally honest. I am nothing but a pessimist. Guilty as charged. Um, and I'm really, really struggling to find a, a positive spin. We could bring Wilford Boney on. Will it make much of a difference? Maybe. Milik's got a bit more. We're getting over and running midfield. What do you want me to do, Brian? I feel like saying to him, what do you want me to do, man? Milik, go on, finish that, son. There we go, 2-1, back in the game. Forget what I said. Don't listen to me. I clearly haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. Simple free kick. I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised by Real Madrid conceding that. Right then, game on. Half hour to go. Left us in... Yeah, we need to be careful. We need to go for a goal. <laughs> we need to push forward. Oh, dear. Corner. Pepe. Oh, it's straight at him. Straight at Killison. He will be delighted to accept. And it's down the line. Milik, he's putting in a shift, isn't he? But I'm, playing, I'm, gl I'm pleased I left the two guys going forward. Because we've got to go for it, haven't we? There weren't, there weren't any point in sitting... There wasn't any point in sitting back. Royce over this left-hand side. And it's a save by Killison again. And it's another corner to Real Madrid. He should have scored, apparently. From that angle, are you sure? This comes in. Ronaldo puts it high into the stand. In fairness, did anyone see the um, the game from Spain recently where some woman was hitting the crowd when she had a cigarette? Don't smoke. There's a lesson for you. Especially in the football round. The football ground. Keep your eye on the ball at all times. Thank you. This is a public service announcement. This is a public service announcement. Right. Milford <laughs> Boney's coming on. That's, I'm just rambling now, it's really... I feel like I'm getting into the groove of it all now. Because I I go through life rambling. So, uh, Wilfred Boney's on. Let's see if we can pinch one. Bayern Munich are three up. Memphis Depay? Memphis Depay plays for Bayern Munich now? Really? Lasted long at Old Trafford, didn't he? Bit like, bit like the real one. He ain't going to last long. Cersei now. Bit of magic from that man. No, it should have been all on the ground, but Klassen will pick it up. Milik's in behind. Oh! What a chance. And that was his last touch as well. Wilfred Boney is on now. I said he was on a minute ago. He hadn't come on. So, he's on now. Right. Last 15. Let's go. Go, go, go. Everybody. Up the field. So if we're going to get something from it, we're going to have to score, obviously. Talk about pointing at the lead knockers. 4-0 to Bayern Munich. Lewandowski. Has got the fourth one. And we keep giving away free kicks. But considering we've got 10 men, and, and I said it was game over. Hold that thought. Just a brief second. Comes in. Lovren heads it away. Comes out to Luka Modric. Don't, know the, don't do this, little Luka. Good man. Killison turns it around the post for a corner. So yeah, you know, we, we've done well. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm, you know, if, if we, Pepe, oh, if we're going to lose, you know, 
I'm delighted with the response that they've had to going down to 10 men. It means we're going to lose Bessic for a game. It's only two, yeah, two yellows, isn't it? So, more. so one match ban. 5 0 to Bayern Munich now. Lewandowski's second or third. Two minutes to add as well for us on this game. And it doesn't look like we're going to get a last chance. Ball's going to come in, and that is it. So, Ajax 1, Real Madrid 2. Yeah, I can't be too hard on them. I'm not. I'm not going to be too hard on them. Uh, no, I'd rather not discuss it now. Martin Scholes from World Soccer Magazine. We'll talk about it later. Um, down the draw, okay. So that really does leave us in a bit of a precarious position. Real Madrid now have seven. We're only on three. It looks like a race for the Europa League with us and Rosenberg, but them losing 5-0 would have done us the power of good. So we just really need to pick up a result against them, which I think is our next game. I think Bayern Munich's the last one. Let me check. Nice easy one at the weekend. Roda JC in the area division. We'll see what happens there. Let's have a look at the Champions League fixtures to come. Uh, no, Bayern next, and then at home to Rosenberg last. So, you know, if Bayern, if uh, Real Madrid beat Rosenberg, that's, provided we beat them, that's our place in the Europa League secured, if nothing else. So we can take a positive from that. Um, and that's about it from this episode. Right, time to do the old spiel at the end of the episode. If you have liked this video, please leave a like. And please leave a comment as well if you've got any tips or if you've got any thing that you'd like to add and like me to look at and say, oh, yes, that's very interesting. Or, or just anything, rambling, whatever. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, subscription level is going up, I'm pleased to say, which is good. And that is all that's left for me to say. It's, also, it's left for me to say is... Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.